Next, we'll hear from Bill Frenzel, former member of Congress. Uh, good morning. Uh, I'm pleased to be here to and to speak uh, <coughs> in favor of the citizen cabinet uh, concept. Uh, like uh, the farm, like the farmers, uh, the <coughs> the framers and the founders of this republic, I trust the common sense of the people. I think uh, the uh, citizens cabinet uh, concept uh, gives us a chance uh, to. Uh, let the representatives focus on the common sense of the people, but it also gives the people a chance to focus on the problems and to uh, have a dispassionate look at both sides of the question. It, it, Byron Dorgan spoke about the, uh, the power of an idea. Uh, while we have uh, used uh, our electronic uh, innovations uh, for a lot of purposes, uh, this seems to me to be uh, one of the highest uh, that we could aspire to. Uh, I don't see the citizens cabinet replacing all the types of communications between the representatives and the people. Uh, people will still find a way to talk to their representatives and the representatives will find lots of ways to engage the people. But this is a special way, a, a dispassionate way, I think, uh, that is two-way communications because uh, when the people uh, check in to see uh, how their representatives, that is the citizens' cabinet, the 275 people, uh, feel about things, uh, I think they'll have a lot better sense of what's going on in the country as well. So it's an additional tool for the Congress and for the people uh, which I think is vitally necessary at this time. Now, I'm not one of those who believes that uh, a representative should be a sounding board of, for the people at all times. I'm a great admirer of Edmund Burke's. Nevertheless, every representative must understand where the center line of his uh, constituency is on any issues uh, in order to cast an informed ballot. He, uh, he must know when he has to diverge from that popular opinion and when he doesn't. I think the citizens' uh, <coughs> cabinet will give uh, the representative that ability. I'm uh, pleased to support it, and uh, I now yield to Martin Frost for the smashing conclusion. 